It's a story as old as American folklore. Ben Franklin, with nothing but a kite, a key, and a thunderstorm, discovered electricity. We've all heard it, and many of us might even believe it. But what if I told you that this famous story isn't just exaggerated, it's almost entirely misleading. The truth is, while Franklin's kite experiment is legendary, he didn't actually discover electricity. This story, like many others, has been simplified and distorted over time, leaving out crucial details and other key players in the discovery of electricity. So, let's set the record straight. Electricity powers our modern world. We rely on it for almost everything, from lighting our homes to powering our smartphones. But electricity wasn't always so well understood. There was a time when it was a mysterious force, something that sparked curiosity and wonder in the minds of early scientists. The discovery of electricity was not a single eureka moment, but rather a long process filled with experiments, failures, and small victories that eventually led to the comprehensive understanding we have today. So how did Ben Franklin, a statesman, inventor, and polymath, come to be associated with the discovery of electricity? The answer lies in his famous 1752 kite experiment, which has been immortalized in countless history books, paintings, and even children's stories. But while this experiment was indeed a historical moment in the history of electricity, it was far from the beginning of the story. In fact, by the time Franklin conducted his experiment, electricity had already been studied for thousands of years. The misconception that Franklin discovered electricity is not only inaccurate, but also overlooks the contributions of many other scientists whose works laid the groundwork for Franklin's findings. To understand where this myth comes from, we need to take a closer look at the famous kite experiment itself. On a stormy day in 1752, Franklin conducted an experiment that would become one of the most famous in history. He flew a kite in a thunderstorm with a metal key attached to the string. The goal was to see if the storm clouds would charge the kite, thus proving that lightning was a form of electricity. According to the story, when lightning struck the kite, it sent a charge down the string to the key producing a spark that shocked Franklin and proved his hypothesis. However, this story has been romanticized over the years. The reality is that Franklin didn't actually let the lightning strike the kite directly. Had he done so, it could have killed him. Instead, the experiment worked because the wet kite string conducted the electrical charge from the storm clouds to the key, proving that lightning was indeed electrical. Franklin's experiment demonstrated that electricity and lightning were the same, which was a groundbreaking discovery at the time. However, this was far from the first time electricity had been observed or studied. Electricity had fascinated humans for millennia before Franklin's time. The ancient Greeks were some of the first to study electricity. Around 600 BC, the philosopher Thales of Miletus observed that amber, when rubbed with cloth, could attract small objects like feathers. This phenomenon, which we now know as static electricity, was one of the earliest recorded observations of electrical forces. The Greeks even coined the term electricity from the Greek word for amber, electron. Fast forward to the 1600s, and scientists were beginning to explore electricity in more depth. William Gilbert, an English physician and scientist, conducted extensive research on magnetism and static electricity. He was the first to propose that the Earth itself was a giant magnet, and he coined the term electricus to describe the force that certain materials exert after being rubbed. Gilbert's work laid the foundation for the study of electricity as a scientific discipline. But why then does Franklin get so much credit? The answer lies not just in the significance of his experiment, but also in Franklin's unique ability to communicate and popularize scientific ideas. Franklin was a prolific writer, and his accounts of the kite experiment were widely read and circulated. His writings helped to capture the public's imagination, and in the process they cemented his place in history as the man who discovered electricity, even though the truth was far more complex. So if Ben Franklin didn't discover electricity, who did? The truth is that the discovery of electricity wasn't the work of a single individual. Instead, it was the result of centuries of research, experimentation, and observation by many different people. 
Franklin's kite experiment was just one chapter in a much larger story. In the mid-18th century, well before Franklin's kite experiment, other scientists were conducting experiments that expanded the understanding of electricity. Francis Hawksby, for example, was known for his work with electric sparks. Hawksby's experiments in the early 1700s produced some of the first electric lights and helped to demonstrate the potential of electricity to produce light, a concept that would later be developed into electrical lighting. Charles Francois Dufay, a French scientist, made another significant contribution with his discovery of two types of electrical charges, which he termed vitreous and resinous, now known as positive and negative charges. Dufay's work was crucial in the development of the theory of electrical polarity, which is fundamental to our modern understanding of electricity. One of the most significant figures in the history of electricity is Alessandro Volta, an Italian physicist who, in 1800, invented the first electric battery. Volta disagreed, arguing that the frog was merely conducting electricity between the two metals. To show that an electric current did not require animal tissue, Volta created a stack of metal disks separated by brine-soaked cloth. When he connected a wire to both ends of the pile, a steady current flowed between the layers. Volta's invention, known as the voltaic pile, provided the first continuous and controllable source of electrical current, revolutionizing the study and application of electricity. Volta's work paved the way for countless innovations, from electric motors to telecommunications, and his contributions are so significant that the unit of electrical potential, the volt, is named in his honor. These scientists, along with many others, contributed to the gradual discovery and understanding of electricity. Franklin's kite experiment was a part of this larger process, but it was by no means the beginning or the end of the story. The discovery of electricity was a collective effort, involving the work of many brilliant minds over several centuries. While Franklin's role in the history of electricity is often exaggerated, it's important to recognize his contributions as well. Franklin's kite experiment may not have been the discovery of electricity, but it was an important step in understanding the nature of electrical forces. By proving that lightning was a form of electricity, Franklin helped to demystify this powerful natural phenomenon and laid the groundwork for future research. Moreover, Franklin was a master at communicating scientific ideas to the public. His writings about electricity were not only scientifically important, but also accessible to a wide audience. This helped to popularize the study of electricity and inspired future generations of scientists to explore the field further. Franklin's genius lay not just in his experiments, but in his ability to make complex scientific concepts understandable and interesting to the general public. However, it's also important to give credit where credit is due. The story of electricity is not just about Franklin, but about the many scientists whose work made his discoveries possible. From the ancient Greeks who first observed static electricity, to the early modern scientists who developed the first theories of electrical forces, to the pioneers like Volta who invented practical applications for electricity, the discovery of electricity was a collective achievement. In the end, Ben Franklin didn't actually discover electricity. But that doesn't mean his contributions aren't significant. Franklin's work helped to advance the understanding of electricity, and his ability to communicate scientific ideas made him one of the most important figures in the history of science. But it's important to remember that the discovery of electricity was a long process involving many different people over many centuries. Franklin's kite experiment was just one part of this larger story, and it's important to recognize the contributions of the many other scientists who played crucial roles in the discovery of electricity. If you found this story enlightening, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below. What surprised you the most? And be sure to check out my other videos for more fascinating insights into the stories behind historical misconceptions.